Rebecca Andrews of the Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture, and I've been invited by the Arts Council of Mongolia to go to Mongolia and teach museum professionals how to use archival materials. The materials have already arrived in Mongolia, and there are five different materials. This is Davy Bookboard. This is Plank Ethophone. This is Silver Cloth. Twill Tape and acid-free tissue paper. And we're going to go through some sessions of showing the staff how to use these materials when they work with the relics and precious objects that they're um, taking care of in their museum collections. Say we're making a square mount to hold um, we're gonna, something like this is what we want to end up with. So we're going to cut a block of foam out of the ethophone. Your object on this, we, this is a thin object so we don't need the whole thickness. So I've actually cut back half of that and you kind of want to put your object on it and see how much room you need around it. And you, Using a pencil, you kind of trace around the object. It doesn't make a very good line, but you don't want to use pen around an object. So I'm kind of sc scoring it with the pencil. And you can kind of see a trace outline. So I remove the object away, and then I can take a pen. a darker line. And the same thing we do that we've measured everything, um, you want to cut down and um, measure straight cuts and, and remove this block of foam. A word of caution. These knives are very sharp, so you want to make sure no fingers are in the way. And you can use a gentle sawing motion. So you always want to close the blade. So cutting around is easy. We need to now remove that chunk. And that is not as easy as it looks. So I um, discovered that if you, and you're only cutting, you're cutting from this edge to this edge. So you're making little cuts. And then we're going to cut from this edge. So what that does is it's created. That's a little going to be a little bit easier to get out. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we we'll go to the sharper knife. And I'm angle cutting, and again you got to keep your fingers away. Now this is still not flat on the inside and you can see that this blade is thicker and thinner and flattish on one side so we're just going to, oh still, you know, we need to go down a little farther so we're going to keep cutting. There's a, a rise in the middle that we're going to
it's really hard to get it um, flat, absolutely flat. So you just have to keep working at it. And it's a rougher surface than the outside. But there, now you can see that's sitting down in. And if you, um, if it's too rough, you can cut a piece of acid-free tissue, which I'll cut right now. We're going to take some um, pieces to Mongolia with us because it's one of the materials that I can't live without here at the Burke Museum. It's um, thin ethophone. I'll show you a larger piece. Like this. And it comes in huge rolls. And we're going to take some samples to Mongolia with us because this is, it's cushiony and it's smooth and you can cut the shape. You can actually, you know, lay it down and trace around it, put it in there, and then that's a really nice storage. You could write the catalog number on the outside of it. If you wanted to cut it down even further, you can. So it's more flush with the yeah, top. Yeah, so it's more flush. But this is what's called a cavity mount. And I'll show you some other stuff for the PowerPoint. PowerPoint. So, um, this is a bowl from the Solomon Islands. And you can see we just we cut a piece off the giant um, plank. And we've actually lined it with tissue paper and spot glued it here. And we can set this down inside like that. And I see you've also written instructions on it to remind anyone who might yeah. be using it how to, how to use it. Then you just you carry the mount. You don't carry.